Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another Devil May Cry Peak of Combat video. And in today's video, we are going to discuss the book of Demon and the use of ruins. These are very very evil and scary things guys. But I will try my best to make this thing easy for you. And I'll show you the entire process of how to use this book of Demon, how to use the ruins, how to farm the ruins and everything in details. And so, so you can use this thing to increase the damage numbers of your characters and if you want to do really well in tougher game modes like co-op this thing is a mandatory stuff let's get into it guys so to understand the concept of book of daemon and the ruins first we need to take a quick look at our fighters because we really have different type of hunters in this game and different hunters will give you different benefits for example this one dante if you tap here you'll see He's an electric damage dealer. If you go to Virgil, he's a physical damage dealer. Lady, she's a fire damage dealer. And another other version of Lady, she's a physical damage dealer. Of course, all of these characters are having other properties. All of them are here. We'll talk about this thing in some other videos. But for now, this is the main important thing that what is the element? What is the damage type? of each and every character and we can buff these damage abilities with the help of Book of Daemon. For example, Virgil is having physical damage. We can buff this physical damage. Dante is having electric damage and we can buff this up. So let's go and see how we can do it. We need to go to this menu and here is this Book of Daemon very very evil stuff and first thing you'll see there are four different type of books first one phantom mintur nevan and cerebras cerebras all of them are going to uh, perform certain tasks and for example let's talk about phantom there are some stats these are the default stats and this is the resonance that you will not see because I did the resonance and I have this effect. By default, it will look like something this. There will be no active resonance and there will be a low amount of stats. Now, what is the difference between these four books? If you tap on this info section, you will see this list of characters. All of them have certain one thing in common. If you check out carefully that all of them are having this physical damage dealing abilities all of them has this physical sign that i showed before in the character profile so all of them are physical damage dealers and this ruin this book of daemon can buff their physical damage dealing abilities with certain stats and there will be some uh, ruin resonance that you can get after uh, doing some resonance i'll show you the process and i'll do it by myself so I'll walk you through but this is a random effect and I'll talk about it a little bit later. Now this one, Mintur, if you tap on the info, this will only affect this fighter that has fire damage dealing abilities. So all the fire damage dealers will get the benefits. This one, bonus effect hunter, this is, these are the fighters and only electric damage dealing fighters will get the benefit. And finally this one will only benefit ice damage dealers. Now how this book works and how the benefit actually reaches our character. These books are actually not going to buff our characters but rather it is going to buff certain sets that are uh, helpful for certain dots. For example, if you tap on it, if you go to this upgrade section and you'll see this name of Hell Pride. Hell Pride is a set in the game. And this set is uh, specially, specially dedicated to the physical damage dealers. And this book and the things we are, that we are going to do with this book is going to upgrade this Hell Pride set and its effects. And in the same way, if you go to another one, if you go to upgrade, it will affect only this set. There is a set called Frost. Third one. This is going to 
work with this enigma set probably you already have enigma set and enigma set is very very good for electric hunters especially uh, the one man show version of dante so this uh, book is going to straight away buff that size uh, that set and finally the other one this is going to affect another set which is known as banshee and this banshee set is specially very very good for ice damage dealers that means the frosty version of uh, lady that we are going to have from the login event now we know that what is the function of this book now how to activate this thing and if you go to any book first thing first you need to upgrade and you need to upgrade certain abilities and it will give you certain stat boots boost and you will need to have certain materials to upgrade this thing but these materials might be different in many other books for example in this book i need these materials for example this uh, red orb and this crude shadow stone i'm going to show you from where we need to farm and also we can uh, add ruins to that i'm going to talk about a little bit later first first let's first let's talk about how to upgrade this thing these ones i have already upgraded for example this ones as you can see i have already upgraded these ones and reached the maximum level and all i needed to spend is some of these items red orbs and some of these items which is crystal heart so let me show you from where you can get this thing if you tap on it you go to this boss exchange shop it will take you to the boss exchange shop and is in this boss exchange shop you need to buy this thing crystal heart with these currencies this crude epic stone currency and you need to farm this currency if you tap on the currency it will show you different options from where you can farm them boss hunt purgatory gem store i don't recommend gem store but training exchange purgatory boss hunt all of these missions are going to give you this currency and you can buy certain items from here you can buy these things which will be needed red orbs you don't have to buy red orbs don't buy red orbs because you will get red orbs a ton of them by simply playing the stories there are uh, ruin chests that you probably need to buy that i'm going to talk about a little bit later and there are certain ruins that i'm going to show you what are the function of these ruins but first of all let's understand there are different type of ruins in this game for example ruins of violence this is going to work with ruins uh, characters with physical damage dealing ability look at this symbol the symbol beside it is physical this one ruins of lust is going to work with only electric damage dealers this another ruins for physical damage dealer and also there are ruins for burn damage dealer for example this one is going to work with the burn damage dealer ice damage dealer this one is for ice and so on and so on basically if you go to your missions events the challenge stage is this boss hunt this co-op and if you go to skill stages this training stages all of them are going to give you those things you can buy with this currency also the same thing you can buy with this currency that means these ones these currencies you can only get from the boss hunt so this is a little bit rare so you can easily buy from these places first of all you need to save up a lot of these things and buy them however this is entirely for free now let's go back to the books and let me show you how to do this so let me show you another example by doing this final uh, Cerberus one. First, I'm going to upgrade this. Let's upgrade this. See the stats are increasing. Upgrade once again. One more increase. Again. Wow, we can do a lot of time. So many times we did the upgradation and finally we can awaken. We need one of this thing. And a bunch of these red orbs. So let's awaken. Awaken successful now it is I think fully maxed up or can we do anything we can do upgradation let's do it 
Wow! I think in this book we can do a lot of things. Oh my god, we can upgrade to a lot. And once again we can awaken. So I did the awaken. I hope it is maxed up now. Okay. So now it's maxed up and it is now activated. So now as, as you can see all the sets that I have are having this activation. Now we need to add the ruins. Tap on ruin, ruin and if you tap on embed it will allow you to add these ruins. So let me embed them one by one. First slot. And by the way you need to have this particular ruin. This yellow one with this ice symbol. I don't even have the character yet but still I'm working on it. Let me embed this one. And you need the third puzzle. Third piece of the puzzle. Third ruin. Let's embed this thing guys. Oh my god. Look at this. Holy shit. This is so dope. So, so dope. Now we have a resonance, guys. Rage resonance. Increase the damage against chill targets by 8%. Effect is unique. Very, very good, guys. This is going to be really helpful for the uh, frosty version of uh, Lady that is going to... We, we, are, we are all going to get her entirely for free from the login event. Now you can see there are many methods. It is possible to add more ruins. So if, if I am currently on method 1, all the ruins are added. If I switch to method 2, now we have 3 more slots for ruins. Now we add more ruins. And we need to have the same ruins, that is ruin of anger. So let me try to collect some ruins. Let me go to my inventory and see if we can have some chests if we go to inventory items we have some ruined chests now let's tap on it and use one of them and try to select the ruin that we need so thankfully I have six so I can select a lot of them now the ruins that we need is going to be the ruin of anger this is going to be the ruin that we will need. So let me select three of them. Confirm selection. We got the ruins guys. Now let's go back. By the way you can buy these uh, chests from the shop that I showed before. To go to mission. Event. Exchange shop. There is a bunch of exchange shops here. And I think this is the shop right here. Hell yeah. This is the shop from where you can buy ruin chests. With uh, both of these currencies. You have to play different moves to uh, game mode to farm these currencies. And uh, you can also buy straight away ruins. But I think uh, you can buy whatever you want. These ruins, each and every ruins will cost you 9,000 and you have a weekly limit to buy 5 of them. And if you want to buy the chest, however these chests are random. So there are not selection chests that I am using right now. Those chests actually the game gave me for free. Everyone will get those things for free. But these are random. So I think the best idea is going to be to farm a lot of these coins and buy directly these ruins. So that is in that way you know that what you are buying. So that thing we can do. That's my advice. Let's go to the book of demon. And we try to add more ruins to this damn book. And in the method 1 we completed all the things. The method 2. Let me add more ruins. Since we have more ruins. So let's add them. 3 slots once again. Embed. And finally, the final piece of the puzzle. Oh boy. Okay, now this completed. Buff. We have the buff. The rating of the uh, this uh, book has been increased. I think the stats has also increased because we invested quite a good amount of resources. 
so basically this is how you tackle this book of demon thing and manage your ruins i hope this video was helpful to you don't forget to support the content support the channel and i hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends